When it comes to ninja films, the 1980s were full of sword fights, rooftop chases, and plenty of throwing stars. But amidst the flashy chaos, very few of these movies offered an authentic look at what being a ninja truly meant. Enter The Last Ninja, a made-for-TV movie that might just be the most authentic Western ninja film of its time. Unlike the typical ninja assassin cliches, this film goes deeper into the stealthy, strategic world of the real shinobi. The Last Ninja took a different route by focusing on the less glamorous, more practical aspects of being a ninja. Stealth, survival, and deception over sword fights and somersaults. The film stars Michael Beck as Ken Sakura, an antique stealer with a hidden identity. He's actually a highly trained ninja. The movie traces his journey from orphaned child, adopted and trained by a Japanese ninja master, to his present day life, where his skills are called upon for a high stakes rescue mission. Terrorists hold hostages wired to explosives in a penthouse in Dallas. I've heard nothing about that. And you won't. Throughout the film, Sakura's backstory is revealed through flashbacks, showing a side of ninja training that you won't find in other Western movies. Ken learns how to balance on beams, walk silently across squeaky floorboards, and even survive alone in the wilderness. These scenes mirror real-life ninja techniques, skills that involved more than just fighting. One standout sequence shows young Ken surviving in the mountains, learning to build fires and find food. The film's main plot sees Ken Sakura, recruited by a government agent for a daring mission. A group of terrorists is holding hostages in a Dallas office tower, and the authorities fear that storming the building will end in disaster. Sakura's ninja skills, with their emphasis on stealth and infiltration, offer the perfect solution. Instead of storming in sword in hand, Ken employs the ninja's greatest weapons, disguise and misdirection. Dressed as a cleaner, he gains access to the building's blueprints and later disguises himself as a homeless man. Both are textbook ninja moves, right out of the 17th century ninja manual, the Shoninki, which lists various disguises a ninja could use to blend into any situation. Climbing the building's exterior, using tracks for window cleaning equipment, is another nod to the real techniques. Ninjas used to scale castle walls in feudal Japan. The final act of the movie ramps up the tension as Ken uses classic ninja misdirection to outsmart the terrorists. In a climax set in the dead of night, the lights are cut and Sakura blends into the shadows, picking off the terrorists one by one. The Last Ninja keeps the action grounded with simple jujutsu moves and silent takedowns. Even the ending contains a clever nod to ninja trickery. The authorities are on to Sakura's dual identity, or so they think. But in a final twist, his sister Nori, disguised as Ken, helps throw off their suspicions. It's a brilliant, understated moment that captures the essence of ninja secrecy. I want to thank you for what Do you did. Do not thank me. Just do your job.